Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we saw that this function right here, f of x equals 1 divided by 1 minus x, can be written as the infinite sum, the power series, 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so forth, which is actually a geometric series with a constant equals to 1. But what if we have a function that looks like this? Can we write this as an infinite sum? Can we write this as a geometric or a power series? And the answer is yes. We just need to make this look like that. That is the trick. And so we can say that this can now be written as 1 divided by 1 minus something. So that instead of an x there, we have something else. But then we can write it in the very same way and replace every x here by what's over here. So let's go ahead and do that. What do I need to put in here so that this looks exactly the same as this? And the answer is a minus x squared. Because a minus times a minus makes a plus. And that's the same as 1 over 1 plus x squared. So we have the same thing we have over here, but now we have it in the format that we have over here. All we have to do now is write out the very same thing, but instead of x here, we're going to write a minus x squared. So this is equal to 1 plus, instead of x, we write a minus x squared. Plus, instead of x, we write a minus x squared quantity squared plus, instead of x cubed, we write a minus x squared quantity cubed. So this then becomes 1 minus x squared plus x to the fourth minus x to the sixth plus minus and so forth up to, of course, infinity when n becomes infinity. And so that means that we can write this as the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n power, because that allows us to alternate the signs. When n is equal to 0, that gives us 1. When n is equal to 1, that gives us a negative. n equals to 2 gives us a positive, and so forth. And then we have to write x multiply or raised to the, I would say, 2n power. Let's see if that works. So first of all, we took care of all the signs. Now, when n is equal to 0, x to the 0 power is 1. This is 1, so we get the first term. When n is equal to 1, we get the negative. And x to the 2 times 1, x squared, gives us x squared. When n is equal to 2, we get a positive, And we get x to the 4th power. When n equals 3, we get the negative again. And x to the 6th power, and so forth. So this is another representation of this infinite sum, the power series, which is representative of this initial function. Notice that's the trick, and that's how it works.